Hey everyone, so I am trying out my new Samsung Note 20 Ultra. This is the camera on it. I'm recording in this in 1080p. Uh, I used to record my videos in only 720p uh, just because uh, to me there really wasn't much of a difference between 720 and 1080. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying this out in 1080p. Let me know what you guys think of this video. S tell me if you think it's any better than my other video qualities. Uh, as I used to use the Samsung Note 8, I said now I'm using the Note 20 Ultra, the new Samsung phone. Uh, this is supposed to be a lot better, a lot better camera on it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna show off a couple of my different tanks here. Of course, this is my male beta. Show the autofocus, see how that works. So it's definitely harder to get pictures of fish or videos of fish. And it has to do with the water, of course. Yeah, so let me just just let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, again, this is my male beta. Uh, I plan on getting him a female pretty soon here, uh, which will be going to my six gallon Aspire from Top Fin. So I'll try focusing on different things. The wood. Turn off autofocus. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if this, the cost of this phone is worth it. Uh, the mo main thing I use my phones for is for videoing like this. Otherwise, I use it for pretty basic stuff. I just don't know if it's worth spending. Uh, well, it's thirteen hundred dollars in the U.S. Then I get something for my, for my old phone though. I get five hundred bucks. Uh, this will be a bigger test. I have just a few touches in here. Uh, they're always moving. Always moving. I'll focus. Gonna have a hard time focusing on them like that. Now, what's cool though about the phone is that it does have the wide camera as well as the crazy zoom in camera uh, which just makes things that makes everything go blurry though and on the when you take pictures this thing can do I think like 50 times zoom which is pretty cool then also has some cool uh, mics on it too the omni, omni directional mics on it I'm um, so focusing on try focusing on my volcano here some decent red coloring coming off of there. It looks pretty good. My plants are a bit chewed on. Somebody's been eating them. A couple of quarry cats. Just chilling on the biological media. Snail there. And then we're actually going to switch over to some African softbird rats. But that cute little fish with big ears. How adorable is that? It's like, hi! Who are you? What is that? I'm cute! <laughs> and the other three are just snoozing there. <laughs> uh, you hear that buzzing or that? That noise is just from the, uh, from this guy. And it's also touching the tank, which I did not realize. It's probably not the best thing to be doing to the poor rats. Uh, that is, of course, for the volcano. Bubbles! Our focus is not liking those bubbles. To darkness. Get too close, it doesn't like to focus. So it's hard for cameras to focus in in a tank. Even some fancy cameras have issues. 
yeah, so just let me know what you guys think of this. You think it's any better than my old videos, or should I just return this phone, save a lot of money, and maybe go buy myself a DSLR that's decent. So this was, again, this is 1300 bucks. Uh, but then I get $500 for my old Note 8 for a trade-in. Um, I don't know if it's really worth it or not. Let me know what you guys think. All right, thank you guys very much. And see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Goodbye.